the guy who killed professional, professional wrestling, wrestling was one damn hand. Shout out to Bruce Bliss and his whole Bliss team, man, because, um, you know, this is kind of why I'm doing it. Because, because I don't believe that everything. what these guys say. He's garbage. garbage. He's trash. He's trash. He's event. trash. He's always in the goddamn main event spot. And buries everybody that is up and coming. He's and always, uh, all these up and comers that we wanted to see. Whenever he debuted. He, he, when he debuted, he sucked. But you get to know that because when you debut, you always suck. That was expected. After that, he's been burying and burying and burying and burying. And it goes and fucking goes on and on and on and on until we die. You know, Oscar on Sesame Street, that was Cena. That was Cena right there. That was fucking Cena right there. He has no kind of charisma in his body. Whatsoever. He has no freaking charisma in his body anyway. My pinky can cut a goddamn better fucking promo than John Cena ever could. He been blowing it more than Shawn Michaels could ever could. You can't. You can't even let us get a chance. Let the other guys have a chance. Only reason he's put on the main event spot is simple, cause of. You merchandise sales. Who I think deserves to be. Who thought Bray Wyatt? Who should have had Daniel in 2014? Bray Wyatt should have been a world champion, but instead you pussify him and job him to a goddamn John Cena. That's why we don't like your punk ass. I hope you. I hope you get off my fucking TV screen. No one freaking likes you. You scrawny bitch ass. This is what I think of you. This is what I think of you. You punk ass. <clears throat> I gotta really take off. Man, the God, when the day that Cena retires, every pro wrestling fan will say, thank you. Every indie fan will say, thank you. All these indie fans might say, oh, you know John Cena? Oh. I know him. He's the guy who motherfucking killed professional wrestling. Oh, my life friend says, oh, it's hatred. Look at these guys well, who I tried. Brian was still here, you know, um, you know, still in the company right now. He should have been a no freaking face of the gun. Heck, Bray White should have been like a perfect guy to be um, a replacement you know, for. I'm pretty sure everybody wanted to see Daniel Bryan versus Bray White at Extreme Rules.